You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I do appreciate it very much. Exciting day because I get to try another one of the candies that I showed you in a recent video. Uh, these are Slaps. Now, this one has a different name on it. And I can't really uh, pronounce that. I don't know. I mean, to me, that word is cachet, you know, if you're doing your cachet for your computer. And then uh, Doblex or Doblex. Picosita, and then uh, double flavor spicy soft candy lollipops. That's what it is. That's easier. Let's not get caught up in the pronunciations. Let's worry more about giving these a taste and what they're all about so we can learn about them. Now, this one does say slaps lollipops tropical mix and then soft candy lollipops. This one doesn't say the flavors that I can see. It shows you how to fold it. Looks like you peel a layer off, fold it over. Then peel that back, fold it over, and then fold the sides. I don't. It's really hard to tell. They show this little picture. Now it went from this to this, so it kind of looks like they're folding the sides over. Let's see if this picture's any better. Okay, same picture. Oh, this one kind of changes colors. It looks reddish. Then they peel it to kind of show you the different layers, I guess, as you're folding. And then this one has four flavors. The first one is verde. P-E-P-I-N-O. Pepino? Chewy? No, what is that? Chavoy? I think C-H-A... Oh, let me get my little thingy out here so I can see... Chamoy. I thought that was a V. And then the second one is green cucumber. And then amarillo... Or amarillo? I don't know. Mango. And then yellow mango. Amarillo? Just a guess. Net weight, 3.33 ounces. Double flavor spicy soft candy lollipop. See that made it look spicy to me. And these don't look spicy. But the packaging is very colorful and eye-catching. Paid a buck ninety-nine from a grocery store for each pack. Now let's see. The curious thing is folding them. Is there a law? You know how some candies you don't want to break the candy law by not folding them correctly. Or doing it correctly. Ooh, look at that. They're pretty neat. Let's just focus on this pack right now. We'll come back to that one. Let's separate. So I got one blue. And they each... Yeah, okay, so that's one blue. It's like double layers of plastic. There's a lot in that flat pack. Okay, so this has got one in between one. So there's a really nice blue, a really nice red, and then a brownish color. And then a yellow. Okay, so those look like the colors. And then we'll just match them up. And another blue. And, oh, it looks like there's an orange in here. A red. Yeah, see how they slap? You hear that? Here, slap. High five. There you go. Oh, yeah, there's two oranges. Okay, so they snuck that flavor in there. Okay, and then the edges. It's interesting, the edges look very uneven, almost shredded paper-like. Like it's the sun, the rays of the sun bursting off the edges. All right, let me take a, take out one of each of these so I can focus on each one, and then I'll try to fold them. But of course I want to try them. I'm very curious. Mouth is already watering to try these. Okay, so let's just start with this blue. Now, they are sticky. There's some stickiness down here on the bottoms, and that's kind of where they're sticking together. Like right here, it's sticky. So let's just say this is the top of the lollipop. Let's peel this off. Okay. So now that's all sticky. Now, it's just, can you see the different striations on the edge? Isn't that cool? I want to fold this over and match this to this, I'm guessing. Then you would... Pat that down, and then do that again. I think they did it twice. Uh, no, they didn't. They went from this to then folding it the other way. Here, look. So once fold it over, open that, fold it over, peel it back, and then fold in the sides. Because this would look kind of funny if you go this way. Well, let's just try it. And to peel it back kind of quick. Yeah, 
in. There we go. So now would you now you could probably fold it over again. So let's leave that. That's example one. So we'll see what everybody says, how they fold theirs. So let's do it this way now. I just want to snip this one. Hmm, what am I sniffing? It's off center to the stick. You see that to begin with? Let's fold this over. Let's lock it over the stick. It's kind of neat, and then you just kind of peel it back. And then fold this over. That's what my instructions show. So if you do something else, then you probably got different instructions or maybe you grew up on it a certain way. We're taught one way. Now me, to keep this from flopping over, I would fold this one more time and then you'd have that nice squish down. Easier to eat. But is that too chewy? I don't know. Okay, there's one. There's two. Can't wait to try them all anyway. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, let's do this one this way. I wonder if we could just flip this over now. And then do it one more time this way. This was the way I thought it might have been. And then now this kind of matches up the one I just did. Almost exactly the same. It's a little chunkier. The colors are very vibrant. You can really see the edge on that one. Isn't that cool? Okay, the instructions say this, this. This last step is a little confusing, but it looks like a tube, like that one. They only do it, fold it over two, fold it down, then you press it, peel that pack back, and then they kind of go left to right like I did. Let's do another one like that. I'm trying to fold it like that so it's centered to the lollipop. See? There's number four. Lots of little sheets of plastic in here. Now I wonder if you could just do this. All right, I'm gonna go way off the beaten path here. Way off the beaten path. Mm-hmm. People are gonna be like, no way! Okay, so don't get caught up on the pronunciation and don't get too caught up on the folding. I'm sure everybody does it a little bit different. Your family might have learned one way. That's a nice slap now. There, look at the length on that one. Now I'm just gonna do this. Look at that. And then fold it one more time. There. So I totally folded it incongruently wrong for a reason. Okay, let's try it now. I'm not even gonna get heat no matter what I do. Let's hopefully we don't taste any heat. Those other ones are. Okay, so that's stuck to that. All right, so I'm just gonna, it's more like a gummy, like a fruit roll up. If you want it more lollipop, I say fold it as small as you can. No, I'm just chewing it. Mm. I like the flavor. Can I tell you what it is? No. It's very fruity. And they don't tell you. Okay. It has a slight grittiness to it. There's a little bit of like crunchy sugar in there. All right, let me try one of the smaller ones. Now, if you want it like a lollipop, that's probably the best way to do it. That one tastes like mango. Mmm. Okay. It's very 
sticks to your teeth kind of chewy. So as you bite, it stays on the top and bottom. Good flavor. I'm not doing them any, in any order, but I kind of want to fix this one and do this. There. Easier to hold in your mouth. Nice orange flavor. Now that way, it's hard to get off the stick. So that's a fail. I'm getting tamarind in there, but I don't see that. You chew it, you get a little grittiness to it. Okay, let's try the red one. So if this is the traditional way, ooh, piece of plastic. Not to eat the plastic. See, it doesn't stay. It wants to just fold over on its own. Ooh, that one's good. It's like a cherry. My fingers are all sticky here, I'll show you. Here's my finger. So no matter what, you're gonna have sticky fingers. And it's very sweet. All right, last one. I think I like the red one the best. So I'm just gonna bite the end of this one. It sticks you. It sticks to your front teeth when you bite it. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me go wash my hands. I'll come back. Let's see if these are that spicy hot. Okay. Hands dry, clean. I feel much better. Now these have a really cool color inside. It almost looks like two different multi-colors. Okay, so there's a multi-color green and red, very much like Christmas colors. A multi-color green and yellow. Let's just make all of them match. Red on the left. And then another a green and red. Another green and red. So you get four. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got six of the yellow and red and four of the green and red. So there's 10 total. All right, so I only have to try two on this one. But we'll see, maybe I'll fold some more. These are really pretty. I wonder if I could just do a sh extreme close-up on these. Let me peel this one. Ooh. I was able to save it. Listen to that peel here. Ready? It's like, whoosh. let's see if I can get it all the way off just as it's own. Look at that. Okay, now I can get the camera to kind of peer through. Oh, cool. And now I'm turning it like a, like a leaf when you're holding the end. And now I'm twisting it. And I know I'm not supposed to do that, but I just thought it was cool. All right, so I blew that one. Let's peel this one. Let's see if we get the same kind of peel sound. Here we go. The plastic got stuck on the edge. There. 
Okay, I guess now I'm just going to touch it so you can kind of get a sense of the texture. Okay, so I've ruined that one. Okay, that's two that I've ruined by experimentation. Okay, so we're going to do this one like they show on the package. They show peeling the first layer, flipping over, peeling that back, and then it looks like just turning the sides in, which I've done. And you're supposed to probably do that all without touching it so you don't get sticky fingers. That's very pretty. Let's do another one. I don't know. I'm kind of kind of leaning towards this. It just looks cool, doesn't it? This looks like a mess. This, I don't know. I kind of like it. Okay, peel. Let's just do it a completely different way. So someone can say, all right, that's the way. Let's do it this way. Let's fold this down. Okay. All right, let's leave these two. I'm going to take a bite of this interesting creation here. Oh, it was a big bite. Okay. Really hard to chew. Not like a top hard, but it sticks to your teeth. Mm. I'm bringing in more color. It's so colorful. Okay, getting a little spice now. It's not hot. Not in the least bit. And it does have that, uh, like, sugary... I don't want to say crunchy, but... Kind of breaks apart a little on the end there when you, when you chew it. Let's take a bite of this one. It's not hot in the least. Okay, so... All right, so I wrapped them eight different ways. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Nine different ways. Let's say eight. Mm. Okay, flavor-wise, I'm going to stick with the fruity ones in front. They're all very sweet. I might... Like, Overdone it on the sugar right now, but still tasty and good. So what do you think? Let me know what you think. Now let's overlook the pronunciations. Let's overlook the folding. You might have a way of folding. Flavor-wise, I like these. I like them all. I like these the most. And texture-wise, it's very unique. You can almost see it in these. There's like a... There's like little seed colors in there. There's little black or brown specks. It's hard to show it to you. They're in there. Uh, maybe that's what that little bite is. I don't know. I'm not sure. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.